I need to be like this so you can't talk. Because otherwise you're not going to test it, remember? We had to test under aggressive resistance, yeah? Okay. First step, I'm going to bridge my hands up like this. And I'm going to move my neck back. It creates a gap. So if he chokes me here, all I need to do is suddenly jerk and I get this little gap. That's enough for my airway to work, yeah? So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to create a wedge, one of the five ancient machines, and wedge up as I shoot back, like that. That gives me enough. Now, even if he really squeezes that, I'm going to choke. There we go. Yeah? I'm still going to get it as long as I pull back. If you just try and stay there, not going to work for you. You've got to shoot your weight back. Create a wedge, shoot your way out here. Once you've got that, I'm going to circle straight back in like this. And I want to slap the skin. I'm not trying to hit him. I'm not trying to break ribs. That's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm trying to slap the skin just like that. What it does is it brings the blood to the surface. It makes it really... Saw, okay? One, I'm in here, and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to squeeze and twist. Can anyone see any vulnerabilities with this though? Yes. What are they? Around your ears, mostly. Right, yeah, so he's got both hands, okay? The most common act of violence, the most. <laughs> Sorry, I'll wait for you to sit Sorry, no, no, it's my fault. Uh, still got me. The most common act of violence out of all, period is a high right hook. Out of all. If you look at hospital records, where's the damage? High left side of the face, always. Okay, so that's why we always start left side. So that your left hand is up for the defense and your right hand is there for the response, yeah? That's why it was designed that way. So, what's he statistically gonna do? Throw a right hook, right? So I go like this, I go here, I mean, impact that and I'm going to squeeze this up. But the chances are he's going to throw that which I'm going to jam it, right? I don't have time for this. I'm just going to go, oh shit, like that, yeah? So he goes here, boom. And then the next one. And we're going to deal with that, okay? I don't think we need to spend a lot of time on that, right? You guys block all day. So, creates another vulnerability. So, I go here, one, two. But now I'm going to deal with that. Now I've got this headbutt. That's the next vulnerability I'm going to deal with, okay? So, I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to take this as he headbutts and slam it straight here. And ever notice when you do your hand movements, the thumb is tucked? See that? I'm going to take that and bury it straight into his eye and push that head back. By pushing the head back, I expose the throat. See that? Head tucked, because he might be a boxer, he's going to do this. But I jam him in the eye, what's he do? Uh, opens the throat, yeah? So I go. One, two, I jam this straight here, and just shoot straight into the throat this way. So I'll go here, one, and straight out that way, with a hand into the throat. Cool? Watch one more time. One, out, impact, seize. What are we gonna do with this? I'm gonna jam it, don't block it here, okay? In this particular case, I'm gonna launch this forward. Yeah, nice, strong, big, solid wall. Launch into that arm, and here. Deal with that. But now I've got this to deal with. So I'm going to go here. If he headbutts or not, do it anyway. Here and the finger straight in the eye. And then you can do this one of two ways. You can either go straight, like this, or you can actually come to the back of the head and pull him in as you do that move. It's between a push and a shove. My guys, obviously. The difference is the rapid acceleration. So this is a push. Okay. This is a shove. Not very nice, right? Same with pulling. So I can pull. Is that wrist uh, angle? Yep. This is a yank. It's sudden. You see the difference? Okay. okay. That sudden acceleration is really, really key with this. Okay? If he's choking me and I try to pull, his body, even though it's a much greater mass, can keep up. So he will keep up. What I need to do is accelerate faster than the mass of his upper body can move. Yeah? So this has to move much faster. That's why I don't move my whole body. It takes too long to motivate all this weight, okay? Especially, oh, it's getting worse, you know, I've added a bit more, you know? So, it, you've got to suddenly accelerate, so I'd move only this. And it's got to be really, really quick, faster than his body is able to follow. Cool? Okay. All right, really important mechanic. Next one. Uh, next point I wanted to make. So after we've done, uh, so we've gone two hooks for example, I've gone like this, I've gone like this, and I've gone here and I've hit that. Some of you may have noticed that that arm is still there and a concern, okay? 
So what we're going to do with this, because uh, uh, in Chinese martial arts they, they have a movement like this, it's called Bong Tao. Okay? Uh, you'll see it in Wing Chun, Bruce Lee does it all the time. Right? So, I go like this, I go like that, and that arm is still high. All I, can do, all I need to do is roll that and then come this side. Easy enough for, that, for everybody? I don't want to disconnect too much. Just put that hook back up. If that hand is still there, I don't want to disconnect too much by dropping my hand down like this. So all I'm going to do is just take it like that, lift it up, argue, okay, if you like, and then bring it over the other side. Everyone cool with that? Then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to nail in here. Let's just come inside. I'm going to nail in here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to counter rotate this. Okay? And then I'm going to give him the Italian salute. Everyone know what that is? That's the one of those. So I go here. I hammer that. Too hard. That's all good. <laughs> I'm going to hammer this. So it looks like this. Ready? One. Two. Squeeze. Deal with that. Deal with that. Deal with this. And hit this. But if that hand is still there, I'm a little bit concerned about it. So I'm going to lift. Come over the top and nail in here. Come underneath. Notice the hand. And just hammer it like this. One. I'm going to slap and squeeze. The hook comes. I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to deal with that one. Okay. I'm then going to gouge and straight to the throat this way. If that hand is still there, if it's not there, don't worry about it, disengage and you're good. Yeah? Like that. If that hand is still there, you're simply going to roll, impact, and come up underneath this way. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you got a lot of value from the video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, I really appreciate that. And also check out the website, bunkaibloke.com, where you can find the full length of these videos as well as some other free resources. So thanks again, and I look forward to sharing the next one with you shortly.